o'clock on the dial. We are here with the latest update with this winter weather that's going on all across the Magnolia State. Here's a live look outside South Haven, Mississippi right now up towards the Memphis area. Lots of snow on the ground over in that region. And this is what we're seeing a little bit closer to home here. We're dealing with a lot of freezing rain that's moving into parts of the Delta right now, just passing through parts of Warren County over towards Vicksburg. But it looks like a lot of that's starting to move into Yazoo County and over towards Madison County right now. We are still dry here in in the metro area, but it is definitely posing a threat on those roadways out there right now. Icy conditions in parts of the Delta snow again up towards northern parts of the state. North Mississippi here and this stretches all the way. The icy conditions stretch all the way over towards the Amory area up towards northeast Mississippi. Wet conditions over towards Itala County right now. Again, we've been dry for the past couple of hours, but this storm is expected to be building into our area within the next couple of hours here. Here's a bigger picture look as to what we're seeing. So all the snow has cleared out of the Memphis area moving across into northeast Mississippi. But this is what we're watching the freezing rain that's moving into parts of Louisiana right now. This is what's going to bring us that chance for freezing rain as we head into later in the afternoon throughout the overnight hours. So tracking it out hour by hour, we can be expecting this closer to that three, four o'clock time frame, and it is expected to be clearing out closer to 10 o'clock this evening. But temperatures are going to stay below freezing during this time frame as well, especially as we head into early tomorrow morning. This is what our temperatures are going to be looking like right around 11, 12 degrees here in the metro area. So it is going to be a cold, cold start as we head into early Tuesday morning. Real fuel values going to be close to that zero degree mark.